It's Bourbon Night, and it's another Uncorking. Hello, I am Chad. I'm Sarah. And... What do we have, Chad? Well, we have the uh, the 10 year single barrel version of Rebel Yell. And why do we have it? Well, we have it one, because some people have been asking how it is and they can't wait for this uncorking. The other reason, sadly, is because Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, General Organa, has passed away. And she personified Rebels. So this is Rebel Yell. So this is why we're, why we're doing this. And on a serious note, Star Wars has always been a huge part of my childhood, adulthood. <laughs> Current life. Current yes. life. Uh, I mean, as far back as I can remember, there's always been Star Wars. So, it hit kind of hard. Kind of sucked. So, this is for Carrie. Our tribute to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, as you can see, this comes in a, in a nice box here. Uh, Rebel Yell's really been stepping up their selection. And this... I'll take that. Very, well, thank you. very nice bottle here. Again, it's a 10 year. It's a single barrel. Um, it is it's distilled. A good it is a good looking bottle. It's distilled in Louisville, but it is from Luxo. Pretty excited to try this. How much did this yeah, set you too. back? Uh, this was around fifty dollars, if I remember correctly. About fifty bucks. Yeah, uh, in that ballpark. Yeah, that's what I'd guess by Ooh. looking at it. Oh, that's a nice touch. It's yeah. Like real wood. Looks like it. Yeah. Feels like it. Nice wood. <laughs> Tastes like it's it. It's real wood. Right? <laughs> Smells like it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. That's the sound you want to hear. That was satisfying. That's nice. Mmm, that smells good. <clears throat> you can go first. And what is this? Hey, this is the new, well not new, new to me, it's the Neat Glass. And uh, where'd you get it? <laughs> it was a Christmas gift. It was a Christmas gift. <laughs> it was a Christmas gift from you, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Let me help, help you to this, mm -hmm. we think. How's that? That's good. That's good? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Right? Yes. So the Neat Glasses, <laughs> and we're having it neat. So this is kind of, I like the way that you can hold this glass yeah. like this and not touch, like you don't affect the temperature. Mm -hmm. But also it's kind of awkward to drink out of. Like, like I feel like you have to t tilt it back farther and I know that you don't a like little, that. A little bit. Normally about a, a bit. Glencairn, right? Well, yeah, but I like how you can, you can really get your whole face. <laughs> you really can put all, your, your, whole, your whole face Your in whole there. face in it, which is good. Most of your face will fit in there. So... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not picking up a whole lot of... Me either, not, nothing smells. specific. I mean... Just your normal vanilla, maybe some I light caramel. Like dark cherry. <laughs> dark cherries. Just like a tiny bit. Okay. Not much. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay, so this is my first time really drinking out of this glass, and I didn't do it right. So all of that just went right to the back of my mouth, and all I got was the heat, which is why the, whoo. There you go. So I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> uh, this is 100 proof, by the way. We didn't say that. <clears throat> mm. I think it's easier to drink from it if you're holding it from here than Oh, that's nice. Here. It's like, brown sugary at the front of it, but it has like a tiny bit of smokiness and the ending, it's got like spice, but it's got like wood flavors and a little fruit flavor. Definitely caramel, like you said, but I feel like that's a given. It has a dry nut finish. Okay. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes? Yeah. Kind of similar to like I feel like the finish of like a Booker's kind of yeah. has a nut, uh, an I'm oak, like a... um, walnut type of finish. Yeah. I feel like this glass kind of pretty tasty. spreads the drink out. It does. It's not like one direct funnel yeah. into your mouth, which sounds kind of weird when you say it out loud. <laughs> well, but it's kind of it, like it a is. bowl of soup. You're drinking from a bowl of soup. Exactly. And you can't, you know. I feel like I'm gonna, if I tilt it back too far, it's just gonna go up the size of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Right? But, yeah, but I mean, it's it's definitely a, a different tactile feeling. I like it. Mm. And, and the bourbon, too. <laughs> I 
Mm. It's so smooth on the front, but this, there's spice and heat on the back, but... <clears throat> there, there's definitely spice. I'm not getting a whole lot of heat. Not a lot, but my I tongue's mean, it's, numb. It's, not, not. not When I say heat, I don't mean like in a bad way. I but mean, it's not it, as a bourbon should. Yeah, yeah. My tongue's numb, so... Okay. Oh, we should we should do the... Can, we, <laughs> can you feel this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, should, we should do the, uh, the little bit of water. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of... Just a couple. Yeah. Me too. Perfect. Yep. Swish that around. <clears throat> Talking things that end in high notes. <laughs> <laughs> la da 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 deer, a female deer. <clears throat> it changes the smell. Whoa. It really changes the taste too. It takes that spice off of it. Uh, still super smooth, but it, it takes that kind of really the brings the sweetness to the forefront. Yeah, and it takes the personality of the finish away. I was. Were you just get out of my that? head, woman? Yes. I'm using the force. <laughs> oh. This is not the bourbon you're looking for. Oh, but it is. <laughs> no. Um, it's definitely the bourbon I'm looking for. It. I, I was seriously gonna say it takes the personality out of it. Um, it definitely does put the floral. You know what I it said? It becomes it, it was, more floral. A, You're right. A couple bourbons ago, when we added water, I said, "Oh, it makes it. It gives it a four roses." And you were yeah. like, "Yes." Mm -hmm. It kind of yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, all I smell on the nose now is the sweet, and all I get is the sweet, which is not a bad thing. It's still incredibly smooth, but wow. I actually mm -hmm. miss the character of the spicier. I do. But like I the, do too. the finish of I mean when I say heat I mean of a 100 proof bourbon not like in a bad yep. way it's not like gross assaulting my esophagus or anything <laughs> but if you wanted to give this to um, a non bourbon drinker cut it with a little bit of water the water is a must I prefer it just neat, neat straight as is mm -hmm. definitely yeah, yeah. that's oh, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy all over. Oh, I mean this. Or like I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that could just be the fact that it's alcohol, but. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> but um, I recommend this. I would agree. Uh, and you said about fifty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. You feeling more rebellious now? Definitely. I think so. Definitely. All mm. right. Well, overall. Overall, I would recommend this if you have the means. Go out and get it. Also, like to say that imitation is the highest form of flattering. And that is what we're doing right now. Cosplay is actually one of the highest forms of flattering. So this is in great respect, great esteem. Um, to Princess Leia, to General Organa, to Carrie Fisher, we'll miss you. Cheers. Cheers. Good. I think that'll do it for us. Yeah. This wig is kind of itchy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... So, for all of us here, was that a sentence? For all of, for, for all of us here, which my, means Chad and Sarah, uh, at It's Bourbon Night. Until next time, drink more bourbon. And watch Star Wars. Now I just feel like a weirdo in a bathrobe, so. Welcome to my world. <laughs>